We're now going to show you how to perform the anodic coding weight by weight loss method, at least how we perform it here at Multiflex. So the first thing we do, like any good lab technician, we grab our trusty lab manual, which has our SOP, or Standard Operating Procedure, which basically shows us how to go through, prepare the test coupon, how to perform the weight loss test, other criteria as far as acceptance and different records. Here Tyler's placing the panels in the aluminum foil. First thing he was doing is checking to see which side is shiny because you always want the shiny side in before you wrap up your panels and put them in the oven. So here we're going to prepare the panels. They've already been dipped and they've already have their anodic coating on them. Here's our oven. First step of course is to turn the oven on. As you wait for the dial here to go through, it's a ramp up, and now you can adjust your temperature. According to our spec, we dry the coupon for a minimum of 30 minutes at 200 degrees. And you want to check to make sure that the data is logging. This device actually controls two ovens. There's a little note on the door in case you, uh, you don't know exactly what to look for. It shows you exactly what you need to do. And of course, you have to uh, record all of your data. So here we are in the lab, we're going to prepare our solution, the recipe is written on the bottle, it's also available in the standard operating procedure and on our wiki under the recipe section. So we need to find the temperature, I believe it's 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which with our hot plate it's in uh, degrees Celsius, so the conversion is about 100 degrees Celsius. Generally you want to go a little bit hotter just to get this, the entire solution up to temperature. And so now the next step, after we've gone and we've dried these coupons, the oven for the appropriate amount of time, we're going to measure the dimensions. And of course you could do this ahead of time, which Tyler actually has done here, just showing you exactly the type of dimensions you're looking for. Length, width, and thickness of the test coupons. Make sure you get those dimensions, which is going to help you in determining your surface area. And you want to make sure you record those, of course. So after the test coupons have been in the oven, you want to place them in a desiccant chamber just to allow the moisture to get out of the panel's pores. So here we are. Um, we're going to weigh the panels. And of course, you want to make sure that it's level, the bubbles in the center. Turn on your scale, let it go through its diagnostic. And then, of course, you're going to tear your scale, basically reset it to zero, just to be sure that everything is in good shape. Next, we're going to weigh each of the test coupons to get our initial starting weight before we actually perform the uh, weight loss portion of the test. So the first thing we have to do before we can dip it in the, uh, the chromic acid solution is we have to wire them up so we have the aluminum wire. Now we're here, it's in the solution and uh, it was in there for uh, between 5 and 6 minutes at 212 plus or minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Timer's gone off. And of course you rinse with uh, deionized water. You want to rinse off any of the remaining solution and then take it back to the air compressor. And here Tyler is going to blow off the, uh, the panel, just drive off the uh, remaining water with some compressed air. You want to make sure that the uh, compressed air is dry, there's no moisture in the compressed air. And then just to um, be sure before we actually perform our next weighing, we're going to use a heat gun and just thoroughly uh, go through and dry the panels additionally. So after you've done the initial um, drying with the oven, the only other drying you need to do is uh, with the compressed air and with this heat gun here. So you go through thoroughly dry the coupon. You dry them on both sides. Here is just showing as an example on one side. And again we're going to weigh the, uh, the coupon. So since we've um, subjected the coupons to the 
um, the chrome the uh, chromic acid solution we're going to notice a weight loss so once we've done that we recorded it we go back through the whole process over again uh, subjecting it again to the uh, chromic acid solution uh, for the same uh, five to six minutes at the 212 plus or minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit and again basically the procedure just repeats itself you're going to rinse you're going to dry it off again with compressed air you're going to heat it again with the uh, dry it off again with the uh, heat gun and of course you're going to weigh it again and you're going to keep doing this cycle of uh, exposing to the chromic acid uh, rinsing drying and weighing until eventually um, at some point your weight loss is, is not going to change from one um, cycle to the next so here we go just to give you an example how many times it might take two or three or more times uh, we're drying again weighing again and then finally at some point you're gonna get the same numbers you got before